Do you have excess play or worn bushings in your A-arms? Today we're going to show you how to check those. My name's Kristen and this is Maintenance Matters. When checking your bushings, you'll shake your tire from side to side. Watch your A-arm pivot blocks to see if there's any excess movement. You want to check your frame tab as well, make sure it's not reamed out. That can cause a lot of excess play as well. If you see any excess play or movement, you'll want to go ahead and replace those A-arm bushings, so let me show you how. Start by removing the wheel. Next, remove the caliper. Now we're going to remove the cotter pin from the tie rod end and then remove the tie rod end. Remove the cotter pin from the castle nut and then remove the castle nut. Now remove the hub. Now remove the ball joint bolt from the lower A arm. Use a pry bar to disconnect the lower A arm from the spindle. Now remove the ball joint bolt from the upper A arm. Remove your brake lines and brake line clips from the A-arms and allow your caliper to hang towards out of the way. Disconnect the shock from your upper A-arm and tie it up out of the way. And remove your A-arm. When removing the bushings, be careful not to damage the A-arm itself. It may make it easier if you spray a little lubricant down in there to actually get those out. Before installing your new bushings, clean out the mounting holes. A little bit of brake cleaner usually does the trick. When installing your new bushings, you'll need to add your own lubricant unless you're using our Super ATV UHMW bushings which are self-lubricating. Now we'll go on ahead and install each bushing. And sleeve. And that's how easy it is to change out your bushings. Now repeat all these steps for all of your A-arms and reinstall your components and you're ready to go riding. <laughs> 